the three sons were. <laughs> uh, excuse me. The three sons. <laughs> the three sons were Emir's in the true sense. Departing the Sultan at each summer to raid and pillage. Gulasen <laughs> came back to the royal enclosure at Charis with the news that his son Radun had been killed in an attempt to capture Jelkala. Rodox! Radun was shot with a coward's bolt while watching some broadcasting steam games at night. No one could tell the Sultan in view of the oath the Sultan had made. Our that pearl sucks. one this ordered is a the royal hall hung with yellow eagle cloth, and that no one was to say a single word. <laughs> when Sultan Hakim entered the hall, he was astonished. That's what the eagle colors meant. Our the pearl one who spoke up, Sultan Hakim, you had two eagles, one woman and the other man. The womanly one flew far afield and was set upon by all the eagles. It tore off its beautiful yellow feathers and is now driven out of palace. Meanwhile, the manly eagle continues to catch courage for the sultan's ransom broke. The story starts, story story does start in there, man. Uh, Sultan Hakim understood immediately the Pearl One's metaphor and cried out, You may be the mother of the realm, but I am the newest commander of the armies. Woman cannot rule the throne. <laughs> uh, and I prevented tyranny and civil war by forcing me into power. It couldn't be done any other way. You have said it, your majesty. I've announced, not I, but what you have said is true. You forced your people, you forced them into war, corruption, and feasts. We could be planning plenty of clothes to the day and start an oil press industry, but you let the clothes burn. Ah, you let your people burn. According to the story, Sultan Akim was so grieved by Arthur's blunt speech that he died of oil poisoning the following day.